Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the count or the frequency of each character or letter present in a string in Java. So I'm going to show you like two methods. One is going to be using nested for loops and another one is by using hash map. So first I will start with the nested for loop, okay? So currently I have here an empty uh, Java file over here, which has just a class and a function. So first thing, uh, we need a string, okay? So we need to just get the input, uh, input string from the user. So it's going to be scanner uh input equal to new scanner and it is going to be a uh, system dot in so for scanner as you know you need to have this import java dot util dot scanner otherwise you are going to get an error so next thing is just uh it's going to be like just uh, system dot out dot print okay enter the string this is just optional okay that's fine and uh, the next thing is going to be just going to show the string okay after getting the input so let str be our string str equal to input dot okay next line okay this is uh, getting the basic input so here what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to use two for loops okay one for loop is for all the alphabets from a to z and another for loop is for checking each and every uh, character present in a string so we are just going to use a if condition if that particular uh, alphabet any alphabet from a to z is present in that particular input string i will just increment the count by one and after the end of the inner for loop i will just print the count and that uh, particular character that is alphabet from a, a to z so once if i do you you will be like clear okay so it's going to be char let's see we make character okay c equal to a starting from a okay and uh, i'm a terminating condi uh, condition is c less than or equal to z okay it's the same thing like you have a number instead of the numbers we are having your alphabet and it's going to be c plus plus so this is the outermost for loop and uh, inner for loop is going to be for int uh, i equal to 0 i less than our length of the string okay our inner for loop should run outer for loop will run 26 times which is equal to the number of the length of total characters that is a yeah all the alphabets a to z and inner for loop will be running um, the length of the our input string okay so it's going to be yes dot or str dot length okay and here you are going to put i plus plus same thing just increment it and next thing is the this one the comparison okay if our any alphabet from a to z is found in our string we need to increment the count so if c equal to c is our this one character okay what we do c is our character c equal to str dot caret okay sorry char capital a at i okay we will increment the counter so for the counter uh, we will have like int c okay int c equal to 0 dot c we will have count because we already used c count is 0 and here we will be having count plus plus or count equal to count plus 1 anything and but here we are having a mistake over here so one suppose our uh, string is a a b b means first thing it will go check for a and a's count will be incremented by 2 so a count will be 2 and next while checking for b our count will be 2 so what we do is for checking like each alphabet will when we are checking our alphabet like from one alphabet to another alphabet our count should be 0 so that our uh, previous alphabet count does not come into calculation while calculating the new alphabet so for that you can just uh, change the simple mistake instead of like declaring this in count equal to zero outside which deleted okay and you can just put int count equal to zero so just uh, below the outer for loop and above the inner for loop so that like for each iteration this count will be zero so we will be getting like a unique zero count while starting for each alphabet so that's what I'm doing here. And next thing is just print the code. I'm just going to directly print it. I'm not going to store in anything. So this is like the, okay, for this for loop. Once this for loop is over, we will be having the count value, okay? So I've just printed it, okay? So it's going to be system dot out dot print ln, okay? Use print ln because we needed a new line. So print ln and it is going to be a count of character uh, character just put a space and a plus 
So we, I'm just going to display the character and sound. C, C is going to be our character, okay? Uh, which that is an alphabet. C and plus I will let, let it have some space slash T, okay? Not slash T, yes. Then another plus and here it's going to be the count, okay? Count. I think no need of any slash T. Thing like this is fine. Ah, uh, okay. L, okay. Capital L. But there is still an error, okay? There is still an error. This code is not 100% correct. This is correct. This will give a count of like each and every character present in our string. But this code isn't correct. Like it has a logical error. So I hope if you have found that logical error, you are great. So if you aren't, just check this output and you will yourself know what is that error, okay? So I'm just running it. There's no errors. Java sample. So I'm just, I'm just under hello, okay? And as you can see, this is that error I told you. So we are getting zero for all the alphabets that are in present. So, but I ended hello, okay? So I'm having O1 and HE and I'm having L also, L2, H I'm having one and then I need to have one for E. So I'm having one for E. So this code is actually uh, working really well. But the mistake is that we are getting like, this are not, not, it's not necessary for displaying count of character is zero. So we aren't going to need to display anything zero. So for that, what we can do is we can use like a simple if statement, okay? So I'm just going to put if over here. If count, okay? If count not equal to zero, okay? So if the count is not equal to zero, it will allow us to go inside this. Uh, it allows us to execute the print statement. Otherwise, our count uh, won't be displayed. So this will just eliminate all the costs, uh, all the costs of printing this zero, okay? So now we'll just save it and run it again. Just so I'll put clear, okay, clear it. CL, clear it and I'm going to run it again. Java C sample dot Java and Java sample. I will send the same, same hello. So now as you can see here, I'm getting like, it's in the alphabetical order. E is occurring once, H is occurring once, L is twice and O is one. So I will also enter some other term. So this time I will enter A, A, B, B, Z, Z, D, D, E, okay? So as you can see, I'm getting A2, B2, D2, E1 and Z2. So I guess that's fine. So this is like the one of the solution. Uh, but the main, uh, I would say is drawback in this method is that you can't get the count because our count is not stored in anything. Like uh, you can't retrieve the count of any by any letter once it's printed because once our count is getting printed it will become basically zero during the next iteration itself so you can't retrieve any count at the end of the thing okay and another drawback is it's running time complexity so in case of any program it must be it must not only work but also it must be less time consuming so here we are using two nested for loops so as you can see this outer loop will run 26 times uh, by default and this will run uh, length of the string so it's going to be o of go of 26 into the string length so it's like nearly o of n square stuff so that's not a good time complexity we need to always like try the try and find the optimal solution that has o of big o of n that's always the best best thing in case when interview also big o of n is always the perfect solution for any kind of program problem so we are going to get that big o of n solution by using the second method that is by using a hash map so for those who don't know what is hash map hash map is like uh it like it has a key and value so if you have done using python it's like the dictionary okay it has like a key key with the help of key we can access the value and if you are like from c plus plus it's similar similar to map map is like uh map using stl okay we have stl standard uh, template library in c plus plus so that's same thing so now we'll just uh delete the unnecessary things so just delete it so this is for one last one okay here we are going to do our hash map. So what we are going to do is, uh, first we will be storing like, we are going to use only one for loop because if you use only one for loop, then it is going to be big O of n time complexity. So while iterating, we will just iterate like each character uh, present in our string and we will just put that character in our hash map. And while doing so, we will also like increment the count of our each character. So, so simple. It's like we are doing two jobs at a single time. Okay. That's our main advantage of hash map. Uh, most of like most of the like uh, O of n square time complexity problems can be like 
are really made optimal by using this hash map so it's really important thing you need to know this okay hash map for now let's just use a hash map okay okay so it's just going to be a simple syntax okay it's going to be hash okay hash and m caps okay be really careful there hash map and here we are going to have key and a value so key is going to be our character that is a character present in our string so we are just going to use two data types one is character char and another one is integer so our key is character and our integer is the count so because this way we are just going to have the key as a character and the count as our value so we are having character and integer okay in our hash map so it's going to be integer okay hash map integers and just name our hash map so i will name it uh, count map open okay? okay something some random name i will name it is count map equal to new hash map and just use this bracket and just close it and for hash map we need to also import it okay it's also present in the same java.util okay just paste it uh, paste it and just you're going to put your here hash map so i will just check it whether it's working i have the right syntax so it's fine there aren't any errors so now comes the main part so now the as i told you earlier we are going to use only one for loop over here so it's going to be only one for loop for int i equal to zero same thing we are just going to iterate throughout the string so it's going to be i less than string dot length so it's going to be str dot uh, length okay and i plus plus so that's it and it's like uh, i forgot this i less than okay so i less than str at length and now what we're going to do is we're just going to check whether the particular character present in a string is present in our map or not so if our character is in present so this is the first occurrence of the particular character we will just push that character in our hash map and we will also push that value with a count of one so if that is the new character arriving into our hash map so what if our hash map had that existing that string before itself means we will just increment the value of that particular character by one simple that's it so it's so simple i will also just it i will type the code and i will also show you a demo okay how it works so i'll put this first i will just get the character okay char c will be our tem temporary character temporary characters to store our like each uh, letter present in our string so char c equal to str dot char at okay char at i okay so you can't you can't it's just optional to use it otherwise you will be like you need to type this entire thing repeatedly so to just shorten my shorten our work i'm just assigning it to c so here's the condition so if okay if our map contains this string so it's going to be if count map dot contains key okay to be very careful with the cap okay contains key of c okay c is our character so if it is true means we need to increment our character count by two so it's going to character count by one okay just increment it by one for each account increment by one it's just simple okay instead of count plus plus we are uh, manually increasing the count by one same thing uh, it's going to be uh, count map dot put put is like to just insert or push just change the value that's it uh, push c comma c corresponds to this character okay c comma so you can just put two values in c comma uh, count map count map dot get okay dot get c plus one so this basically will return the count okay existing integer count of the particular character and will just increment by one so that's what this line is doing i will show you a demo okay don't worry so this is like if the character is already present in a person in our map so if it is, it is in present we will just going to put our we will just push our character and we'll just assign the value as one to it so it's going to be count map dot put and here we're going to have put b c and one that's it so at the end we will just print our okay at the end of where is the end this is for loop and let's going to put system dot out dot print and we're going to put count map so that's it i guess i think that's it needs to work i will just right now So that's fine java sample when you enter this thing you will just enter hello 
So as you can see here, I'm getting E1, H1, L2 and O1. I will also enter some other string, okay? Java sample. Uh, I will enter our official one, AA, BB, CC, HH, LL, EZ, EZ, M, N, O. So as you can see, I'm getting A twice, B twice, C twice, H twice, EZ twice, uh, L twice, M1, N1 and 0, 1. So this is like working perfectly and uh, as I told you earlier, I will just show the demo, okay? So let's just consider, okay, just consider A, A, B, B and C, C, okay? C, C and B maybe. So what happens here is that, I'll just uh, copy it and paste it here. So this is, this is our string, okay? And here what happens is that during the first iteration, our C will be A, okay? And uh, this is our map, so it just checks if count map contains C, that is A. Here C is A, okay? So it just checks here, but this is our map is basically like empty, so it does not have our A. So if condition block won't get executed and it will go to else. And what happens is that count map dot put C as one, so our C is A. So what happens is that inside our map, it will just put A and it will put A value as one. So this is in the first iteration. And next thing, next I plus plus. So this time during the second iteration, okay, I'll just put two. Second iteration, it will go to the next letter. So next letter is also A, and it will go to the if condition if count map dot contains A. But this time it is true because our map has our hash map has A already in it with a count of one. So this time this true if block will be executed. And what happens here is that we are just going to see, it says put C count map dot get. Oh, we are just going to get the count of the A, our count of A is 1, so we are just going to put A, okay, A, and we are just going to get the count, count is 1, so this will be 1 plus 1, so our map will be A2, simple, so that's it, now our count is 2, A, it has A and 2, and next thing, during third iteration, our I++ plus plus and it will go to B, and B will come over here, and B is not present here, so it will go to L spot, so it will put in the map again, so it is going to be comma, B is to 1 and the same process repeats again and again then B will be 2 and next C, C will be 2 and finally D will be there D is only occurring only once so if it, will go, it won't go to if directly come to uh, L spot and it will be D okay D is to 1 so that's it so this is like so optimal because we are using only one for loop so big O of N another great advantage is that here we are having like the count of each character present in our string so we can access like any anything anytime so it is like competitive programming this is the best way to use find the character of each not only for character we can use this for like anything many purposes are there for hash map it's always good to do a problem by using hash map i would recommend that so that's it i hope you would have found this video useful and i've also done many tutorials in c c plus plus many other programs in java and python as well and blender the is animation so really great if you could check other videos of your channel, subscribe and support me and thanks for watching.